The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Prayer for the Sick. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James 5, verse 16. Christ is the same compassionate physician now that he was during his earthly ministry. In him there is healing balm for every disease. Why is it that men are so unwilling to trust him who created man and who can, by a touch, a word, a look, heal all manner of disease? Who is more worthy of our confidence than the one who has made so great a sacrifice for our redemption? Our Lord has given us definite instruction through the Apostle James as to our duty in case of sickness. When human help fails, God will be the helper of his people. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. James 5, verse 14 and 15. But the offering of such prayer is a most solemn act and should not be entered upon without careful consideration. To those who desire prayer for their restoration to health, it should be made plain that the violation of God's law, either natural or spiritual, is sin, and that in order for them to receive his blessing, sin must be confessed and forsaken. We know that God hears us if we ask according to his will, but to press our petitions without a submissive spirit is not right. Our prayers must take the form not to command, but of intercession. There are cases where God works decidedly by his divine power in the restoration of health, but not all the sick are healed. Many are laid away to sleep in Jesus. Our desires and interests should be lost in his will. These experiences that test faith are for our benefit. Faith is strengthened by exercise. We must let patience have its perfect work, remembering that there are precious promises in the scriptures for those who wait upon the Lord.